Today, we need to talk mindset. I heard once from a pretty successful trader. One of the reasons why some people don't achieve a lot of big things right now is because they let themselves to influence by their past. I think that's kind of true. On the one side, you have people who have done big things in the past. They kind of stop progressing and stop putting the work. On the other side, you have the people who have not done things well in the past and they feel like they're going to be failures forever. They don't work as good in the future. I don't want to assume anything about your trading, but two things to realize over time for my own. First of all, the more mistakes I make, the easier it is to make more mistakes. And number two, the better my trading goes in terms of return, the easier it is not to follow through on the routines and the thing I have to do, like journaling, tracking trades, reviewing, all these things. Whenever we have more losing trades, we expect the next trade to be a losing trade again. And this is completely a mindset trick because all the trades we take are independent. They do not have anything to do with each other, but we believe that they are somehow influenced by each other. Now at Starbucks, I'll try to get some work done. I have a couple of things to uh, work on that are really, really important and that I've been pushing back a couple of times. Let's get that done and I'll catch you guys right after. So I want to make something really actionable for you guys, but it's going to require some effort. Every single time you catch yourself being in a hurry to do something or wondering if you should do something, it's time to ask yourself why. Why do you act quickly or why do you not want to act? And that is often going to reveal a lot of things. You might understand that the reason why you don't want to do something is because you've lost the five past trades. Or whenever you want to skip journaling, maybe it's because you've done so well in the past. But understand that those are not reasons to skip, to not execute the process. And as soon as you start to catch yourself and start to get back on the right track, this is where you see result. Because it's very easy to go off track a little bit and we want to bring you guys back on track. And the only possibility is for you guys to understand yourself. Because remember, you are independent, you know what you're supposed to do, and you know when you go off track. So try to catch yourself. And this is where journaling is really useful. You can reanalyze and write down what you did and why you think that is the case. And that goes back to the advice by Andrew Manecker a few episodes ago. I'll put a link below. Listen to this, it's really, really awesome. It's not because something happened in the past that you can do more or less in the future. That doesn't matter. What matters is the process. And we always come back to this because it's really important. Leave your comment below if you have any thoughts, any questions. I want to answer them and try to do my best to help. Give a like to the video if you liked it as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.